we can use it. Look at this. Thanks for joining us. It's another beautiful day. How it is indeed, yeah. How Lovely. Feeling this morning? Oh, fantastic, you know. As as I think all 144 competitors are, you know. Uh, a lot of them are comparing this course and this venue and this space to Pine Valley, which is the ranked number one golf course in the world. Uh, and that's the highest compliment you can pay to Sunningdale Old Course, you know, to, to compare it to number one course in the world. And, you know, there's places to be in the world of golf and you walk around there six seven eight nine ten you stand at the tenth and look down that look down that valley there it's superb lovely place to be here lovely place to be you always want to borrow a labrador and just and just sort of just have him stroll around and a bag on your back and just enjoy life it's a super venue and all the american visitors that come over here haven't played here before are understanding what we've been talking about for years about this venue and how good it is and not just as a space but as a golf course too so very much a thinking man's golf course you've got to position the ball in the right place uh, we're standing here at the back of 18 and you see the slope down if, if the pins on the left here there's no way you can go in this bunker so there are there are places you know you you've got to use a lot of strategy a lot of course management skills to get around here in the lowest score possible what does this golf course mean to you <clears throat> well, I live here now. I live in Sunningdale. The address says Sunningdale, uh, SL5 postcode. So it's a home tie, isn't it? You know, a little bit more pressure, obviously. Think people thinking I know the place, but when you see the likes of Jim Furyk there on the putting green and Ernie Els and Jimenez and Langer, you know, it's. Uh, I know a number of Americans haven't managed to come over this year, but it's, very, it's still a very, very strong field, and uh, we all know. Uh, what's at the end, you know? The winner here gets invited to the Open next year, the 150th Open at St Andrews, which is uh, something that we're all, all 144 of us are trying to achieve, yeah. Is that in the back of your mind? It's at the forefront of my mind, actually. <laughs> because it's St Andrews, you know? Because I've done okay there in the past, and uh, you would love to play, if you put it this way, if you'd love to play once more in the Open, that'd be it. And this would be my only opportunity, really, because it would come in five years' time, I'd be... 63 then and you're past you're past the age so this is the only opportunity that i have to play one more at st andrews is next year so if i don't make it here i'll definitely try and qualify yeah yeah can you take us back now to 1987 yes colin yes sunningdale mm -hmm. yeah this cup. was yeah we played the walker cup here i played at pine valley believe it or not i just mentioned that course in 85 and then the second time i played in the walker cup was 87 here and uh, I've played with two, two good friends on the Champions Tour now in America, Jim Sorensen, the first singles match, and Billy Andrade in the second singles match here in, uh, in 1987. And uh, here we are, 30, what, 34 years later, and uh, hasn't, changed, hasn't changed a bit, you know? Hasn't changed one iota, this place. It doesn't have to. Most courses have undergone transformations. They've undergone all sorts of re reinventions and redos and redesigns touch this do you it's perfect you know perfect and brings back great memories 1987 yeah that's when my 
amateur career and I turned pro late 87 to go to La Manga for the tour school. So this was my one of my last amateur events here in 87 and obviously the Walker Cup, yeah it means a lot here. Amateur golf at Sunnydale means an awful lot. How quickly does the time go? Christ, 34 years. It's, it's, it's gone like that unfortunately, you know, when you look back. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, have changed, I wouldn't have changed one minute of it, but it's gone very quickly, as, as they all do. The, the decades go like years now, you know, uh, but I've enjoyed it thoroughly, yeah. You've won senior majors. What does mm. it take? It's four rounds. How does that change things? What does it take to win a senior major? There's no difference winning a senior major to a major, to be honest. This has got major feel to it. Everyone knows it's a major. It's got that feel to it. And walking up the last hole, I've, I've walked up the last hole a couple of times with Langer in uh, major wins. And one, beating him is great. And two, winning a major with him meant, meant an awful lot. You know, we're Ryder Cup friends and Ryder Cup players and colleagues. You know, we played a lot together. And uh, it meant a lot. But it's, it's, I tell you what, the feeling, whoever has that feeling on the 18th green here on, on Sunday, we're very, very close, if not equal, to any major championship that you play. Be fantastic. How confident are you that you can be that man? Very, very confident. I've got to be. I can't say I'm not. I can't say I'm not. Uh, I'm very confident. Yes, I'm driving the ball well, which is key around Sunningdale. My hands haven't been the best. I've just changed them, so that's good. And uh, I'm putting okay. So if you drive and putt well, and my strength is usually my irons, we have a chance. Of course we do. I'm not saying I'm going to win. Who, who can? But if I can put myself in position Saturday evening, that's the goal. The first three rounds, put yourself in a position that you that you can win. Within within three, within three of the lead, that'll, that'll satisfy me. We'll see how we go on Sunday. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.